So even if you've done some of these programs, yeah, we've got a Ray Chumber on, Roy Chumber there as well. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you very much for listening in. Uh, yeah, so training, skills and training will fade over time if you don't refresh the knowledge. It's a bit like physical training, you know, when you're training for something. You need to refresh your knowledge, you know. Would you like to refresh your knowledge? I mean, some of the courses that I'm, I'm delivering, you might say, well, I've done those. Well, how about refreshing? Now, I've sat in, in, I've sat in uh, various seminars and I've sat in various training programs. And sometimes, I'll be honest with you, there have been some really boring speakers. But that doesn't mean I can't take nothing away, you know. There's always something you can take away from the speaker even if it's some even if it might be the fact that they're boring but there's something in there in what he says have you listened to him carefully have you taken on board what has been said there's always something you can take away now in relation to uh training and development as i says uh we are here to help you and we also have a couple there kapil dev chahan thank you very much for listening in uh so we're here to help you and support you uh, get to where you need to get to, okay? We know there are people coming into this country that uh, are struggling a little bit. Uh, we know also, you know, there are people that uh, generally are finding it very, very difficult. Now, they're, you know, I've, I've seen people over the past year, in the past uh, few years where uh, it's proven that when you're out of work for an extensive period of time, um, guess what? Guess what sets in? There's a little bit of depression that sets in. And uh, that can affect with the way you think. I've, I've trained people on over uh, 50 plus programs and they've said, well, nobody wants us anymore. That's what they say. You know, they develop this uh, concept in their mind that nobody wants them. Uh, nobody wants to employ them because of their age. Some people say, well, it's the government's fault, you know, they blame it on the government. Some people blame it on any type of other personal situation than themselves. Well, the reality is uh, you need to learn to get yourself into a great position. You need to learn to the art of communication and you need to learn the art of empowerment, how to empower yourself into these roles so that you can... Uh, find success at the end of it. So, two aspects we're looking at here. So we're looking at personal development. Now, my my uh, my view on this is: Do you want to grow? All right. The other aspect is: Are you looking for employment? If you look at the program title, you can you can see it there: Training for Personal Development and Employment. They're not the same things. So. Do you want to grow? That is my question to you. Do you want to grow in knowledge, ability, and be able to apply it in a way, possibly in your workplace, possibly in your, your home life? You know, because that's what we're here for. Okay, so uh, as I said again, those three questions are you unemployed? Are you employed? Or are you an employer? Are you an employer seeking to develop yourself? Now, this young man was tunnel vision focused. Now, when you get tunnel vision focused, what's going to happen? You're not going to be able to identify what you need to do. So the conversation was kind of left where the individual decided to uh, say to me, well, all I want is a job and that's it, you know. Uh, the thing is, when he goes for or when he or she goes for an interview, what's going to happen? Uh, they're going to ask him questions. When you go for an interview, you get asked questions. If you can't answer the questions, you're stuck. You see, when somebody asks you a question, it's happened to me in the past, someone's asked me a question in, on an interview, and I've given a one-word answer. I've learned from it, though. When someone asks you a question on an interview, you need to be giving an open-ended answer. You need to be giving an answer with experience or competency something you have done that answers the question that they're asking you they might say to you well give me an example of 
And I remember like going on an interview uh, some years ago, about eight years ago, and questions were being fired at me. And uh, I remember them saying, give us an example of, they were testing, give us an example of equality and diversity, give us an example of health and safety, give us an example of anti-discriminatory practice. So these type of questions were like, uh, they were throwing me a little bit because I had to dig deep. And we have, or you have, um, a whole heap of experiences. All right. Now, if you don't, I want you to learn and learn to write them down so that you can be prepared for specific interview situations. OK, so uh, that's what I want to say at the start of this. We have uh, Bharti Roshan. Thank you very much for tuning in. Jai Guru Dev Ji. All right, so we're going to focus on this presentation now. All right, so session two, we're going to be looking at uh, session one. Just the other day, we were looking at part of the security industry. Uh, we do a non-regulated training program that incorporates first aid, health and safety, customer service, and COVID-4 hospitality. We do, we, do, uh, we do a program that encompasses those quals, qualifications. And um, really, that program, when I was talking about it, I, I, if you go back, you can listen in on the last program. I explained it. Now, if, you, if you're thinking, well, this is non-regulated training, I'll tell you now that uh, you are going to take away information from this training that is going to help you. You're going to take away three other regulated qualifications that are going to help you. And I just want to give a shout out to uh, uh, Om Prakash Lal, who completed with us. I also want to shout out to Ram Prasad, who completed with us as well, just the other day. And uh, Beam as well. You might think I'm talking about the Mahabharat, but Beam and Ram, you know, I'm not talking about the Mahabharat, and I'm not talking about um, uh, uh, religion here, but these people here, Ram, and we have Endera Singh Janigal as well. These guys came on the program. Uh, they've taken uh, to have taken a lot away from the program, and they're going to uh, be able to find. I believe it changes training changes the way you utilize your mind. Training when you put people in a group, and you work with them in a group, and they inter they interact with their experiences. Guess what happens? There's an interchange of not only encouragement, positivity, but there, there is a, a thing where deep level learning takes place. So that, you know, congratulations to those guys that attended. Uh, your certificates will be with you very, very, very soon. All right, so today we're going to cover uh, the roles. We're going to talk a bit more about different types of roles within the industry. And different types of roles that you should be thinking about or and how you should be thinking about them as well. We're also going to talk about communication processes and this is actually on the program so this is uh, information that I cover on the program. Uh, we'll be looking at types of communication we will look at uh, how to treat various types of customers. So what I might do is I might throw a problem solver out to you and say, what do you think of this? All right. And I might ask you to have a go at it. Yeah. So if you're working in a environment, possibly a hospitality environment or even in a venue and you find a young girl, uh, seven years old ish, and she's struggling to communicate and she's in tears. What are you going to do? That's one of the scenarios. Okay, and I'll say that again. You find a young girl at the age of seven. She's struggling to communicate. She's in tears. You are the only one on the scene or you are the responsible person on duty, possibly the attendant, possibly the customer services officer, possibly the staff member, and you, you're going to go into that situation. 